Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We know capacitors are charge storing devices. They not only store charge but they also store energy. In this video, we are going to get the expression for energy stored in a capacitor. Here I have a leaden jar which is a form of a capacitor. I am going to charge this capacitor to show that it also store energy. For that I will make use of a PVC pipe and a woolen cloth. Place it here. I rub the PVC pipe with the woolen cloth few times by bringing it near to the antenna of this leaden jar. Then this. Now I hold this in my hand. I bring this LCD display near to the leaden jar. Let's see what happens. So when I do so, you observe it shows the certain numbers. It is due to the transfer of energy from this leaden jar. I do this once again. You see, due to the presence of energy, this can show some numbers. I also do this with the help of I charge this once again. Now I am going to power this uh, neon bulb. Go here carefully. It uh, can light this uh, neon bulb. This shows that energy stores in a capacitor apart from charge. I have this uh, uh, capacitor which is used in water pump. Now, when you pass current through this, it stores a charge. Now, I insert this in the power supply. Now, I bring them close together to discharge this capacitor. This shows that it stores the charge and it also stores energy. Now I will get the expression for electrical energy stored in a capacitor. If a battery is connected to a capacitor, The charges are transferred to the capacitor by the battery. The battery does some work to store charge in the capacitor. The work done by the battery stores in the capacitor in the form of electrostatic potential energy. Suppose I give a very small amount of charge BQ for a potential electric potential V. Then the work done to store charge DQ in a capacitor can be given as DW, which is obtained by multiplying these two values. If you multiply electric potential with the, the amount of charge, the small amount of charge that, that we store in the capacitor, we get the work done. That is DW. Here we know uh, the relation between the capacitance of a capacitor Electric potential and charge is nothing but the capacitance of a capacitor is 
the ratio of charge and electric potential q upon v is the capacitor from this electric potential can be obtained by taking this term to the left hand side and the c is brought to right hand side so it is taken that side and the c will divide when brought to the right hand side this is the value of v i am going to use this one i am going to use this here in the above uh, expression so we get a new expression for dw which is equal to dw q upon c d q this can also be written this way we can write uh, this equation in another way this. i rearrange it dw equal to equal to 1 upon c q d q this is a uh, the work done to store charge dq in a capacitor of capacitance c now i'll go add i will get that i will find out the total work done to store charge q in the capacitor capacitor for that i'm going to integrate the, this equation i box this equation I want to integrate this on integrate. If I integrate this, we get total work done. What is that? Let me do that here. So integral integral of dw is equal to integral of one upon c q d. Then here if you look at this, one upon c is a constant. We do not uh, integrate a constant, so it is brought outside. Now one upon c integral of q d q. Now integral of q d q is obtained by using uh, this simple equation remember this integral of x dx is nothing but x square upon 2 similarly here we have integral of q dq so here i have squared x here i am going to square q q square upon 2 this is a the value that we obtain if we integrate q dq that I am going to mention here. So but before that there is one more thing if we integrate there is one more equation that you need to remember will be useful here. If you integrate dx you get a x. The similar way if you integrate dw this will cancel and we get w. So here integral of dw is w which is the total work done to store charge in a capacitor. So w equals to 1 upon c written as such. In the place of integral q dq I am going to write this q square upon 2. Now I'll rearrange this. I'll write this one here. W equals to. I'll write it like this. 1 by 2. Q square upon C. Now. From here. From this equation. I will. Get the value of Q. Uh, See, here we, we know, we know, capacitance of the capacitor is the ratio of charge and voltage. 
from this q equals to c into v this is the, the charge charge is obtained by multiplying the capacitors of the capacitor with the voltage or potential difference now if i use this one here in the above equation in the place of q i am going to write this value so what i will get i will get this w equals to half the place of q square uh, i write the value i square this c square v square upon c here the similar terms that cancel okay, and this get cancel and what do we obtain is this w equals to half c v square this is the, the word by a battery to store charge in a capacitor here you remember this the work done by a battery to store charge in a capacitor stores in the form of electric potential energy so this work done will be stored in the capacitor in the form of electric potential energy now I use uh, so here W is a electric potential energy so what I get the plus of this I am going to use UE it is nothing but electric potential energy so this equation becomes UE equals to half CV square this electric potential energy now this is the expression for electric potential energy is stored in a capacitor where this energy stores in the capacitor let's find out that we know a capacitor consists of two metal plates separated by a small gap there is a small space present between two plates when we connect a battery to a capacitor charges move from one plate to another plate for example um, electrons carrying minus q charge moves from one plate to another plate this is how the work is done by the battery to supply charge and that the work is stored in the form of energy so to understand where the energy is stored in a capacitor I am going to use a uh, few other terms for better understanding in the place of C I use this we have learned the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is epsilon dot A upon D this is the, the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor then we have uh, this term for voltage Voltage is obtained if we multiply electric field with the, the distance. This is the distance between two plates of a capacitor. Now I am going to use the, these two terms in this equation. So what I get if we do so is A by substituting the value of C and V in this equation. substituting C and V terms we get a new expression here UE capital UE is electric potential electrostatic potential energy what is UE? electrostatic potential energy is half Then this one epsilon naught A upon D the plus of C then the plus of V square we write C e square D square mm -hmm. then this and this get cancelled and what do we obtain is 
this equation. We will see u e electrostatic potential energy is equal to half e square epsilon naught a d. So I'll take this. Here a is the area of a plates, metal plates used in the capacitor and d is the distance between them. If you multiply area with the distance, what do you get is something but volume. What do you get? You get a volume. This volume. This volume. Now, okay, one thing I forgot to mention here. Now, if you look at this uh, carefully, this equation. Here, half is a, a numerical constant. Uh, this I mentioned somewhere here. This one. Look at this carefully. So I'm going to explain here. U E is half um, C square. Here half is a constant, numerical constant. When we multiply equal to sign with the constant, we get a proportionality. So this uh, can be written as U E directly proportional to C V square. So this shows that the electrostatic potential energy stored in a capacitor is directly proportional to capacitance that is C and also directly proportional to square of electric potential that is V square. Now, this I forgot to mention. Now, let's go ahead. Now, here, when we multiply area with the distance, we get volume. So, we get a, a neutral term for this. This equation can be written as this one can be written as UE equals to half E square epsilon naught to volume. Now, if I bring volume this side, it is going to divide with this u e divided by volume is equal to half e square epsilon naught. Here, epsilon naught is permittivity of free space. We have learned about this earlier. Now, this term capital U e divided by volume is called as energy density it is a denominator small u e I repeat here u e is energy density energy density means um, electric potential energy stored in a, a capacitor per volume of the space present between uh, the metal plates used in the making of the capacitor. So, this energy density is equal to half E square epsilon naught. This is what uh, the final term that we get here. And uh, I box uh, this one as well. This uh, says that electric production energy stored in a capacitor is directly proportional to capacitance of the capacitor and it is also directly proportional to square of the potential, electric potential. So from all these things uh, we understand one thing that the energy is stored in a capacitor is uh, an electric field that present between the plates of a capacitor. I hope that the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.